Hey, what's going on YouTube? It's another Be Brokers tutorial here. In today's tutorial, we're gonna be talking about how to integrate your SoundClick with Beat Brokers. So in order to do this, you would have to log into your account. Once you log in, you're gonna see a gray bar on top. You wanna click Edit Account all the way on the right, and then underneath it, you wanna click SoundClick Profile. After you've done that, your band name and SoundClick username. This is the most important part. You need your SoundClick's band ID. So B brokers can verify that in order to get this, what you do is you go to your SoundClick page and you look at the, the, the URL bar at the top. Now at the top, somewhere in the URL on your SoundClick page, you'll see a bunch of numbers. What you do is you highlight these numbers, you copy it, and you paste it into the band ID. <clears throat> now, once you've gone through all that, now it's time to, to get to the actual code of the integration. Now there's two types of codes. There's just the one that puts the logo at the bottom right hand side and goes straight to your page and there's the other one, the MP3 player one, where it turns your whole page into a store itself. So all the beats that you have on your Beat Brokers page as you're scrolling down through your free downloads, your pay downloads, whatever, there's going to be a buy now button right there underneath those. But for now, we're just going to do the top one. This is the one I use. So you have the HTML code here. So what you want to do is you want to take this code, you want to copy it. And then it says paste this HTML code into your SoundClick band interview. You go into your band account, and once you're in there, go to edit page and go to interview. I usually put my codes at the top. Just make a little space, you know, um, paste it right here in the first in the first box right here. That's it. Now you want to do the SoundClick CSS. So you copy this. Um, then you go to VIP page. Then you go to page design. Then you go to CSS Advanced. Now right here, I put mine at the top. Make a little space for it and paste it. Boom, you're done. And um, that's it. And once you go to your SoundClick page, you should see a logo at the bottom right hand side of the page. That's it. Peace.